That's right. Resist. Hey, what's up, everybody? So it's been a long day. I need to shave. Got this glowy thing on my head because we went out to uh, Boo at the Zoo. Anyway, what is this video about? Okay. Let me remember. Okay, I'm about ready to do the live show thing. And uh, before I did that, I wanted to make this quick video so I didn't have to do it live. Doesn't matter, but just makes it easier. Um, so yeah, Stan Meyer's research. What happened? What's going on? Are you still doing that? Of course I am. Um, things are getting done very slowly, but in the background they're getting done. Um, and I will make the update video that I promised you guys. Have not had time to sit down and really go through that video that I would like to make. Uh, the popper stuff, uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you, but I haven't had time to sit down and put it all together in a nice video for you. So I'm working on that. But right now, this is what I'm doing. So most of you have seen the uh, gen set over here that I have uh, been manipulating, playing with, recirculating gases, all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay then. I was running out of space on my camera, so I had to delete some stuff. But anyway, been working on this gen set here. Um, and I've been doing lots of cool stuff, but it, it's like a 7 horsepower, and it's just too big to do small-scale experiments. Um, the, uh, the size of that engine might be better for certain things, but I wanted to play with something a little smaller. So, my buddy, um, his name is Blaine. You guys have seen him before. He has handed me so many random items that have been so helpful in my adventure and I uh, gotta give a shout out to you Blaine always awesome so uh, and the rest of you are too of course but Blaine has sent me a lot of cool stuff and uh, he's helped me along the way and extra shout out for him um, I know a lot of you have also I'm repeating myself okay so this is the next phase that I'm going through um, I'm waiting on a bunch of parts for the popper, so I'm going to be playing with this today. Um, I do have the uh, uh, stuff to make the coils, so I'll be doing that. But, that's not what this video is about, so I'm going to quit talking about the popper. So here's what I've done. I've taken this engine, and I've taken all these parts off of it. And, uh, I don't know what they're for, but I don't, I don't think I need them. So, what I've done is I've made a straight inlet and a straight exit. Okay? And I'm actually going to be using this coil back here as a condensing coil. And it did come off the uh, air conditioner, of which I've taken the compressor back there. And, um, yeah, it's a portable air conditioner. There's actually another coil and another squirrel cage fan. So I can take this condensing unit, stick it right back on here where the squirrel cage fan was. And uh, it's just got a motor on the back. And let it rip. Actually, let's see what that is. Ooh, gotta have a starting capacitor. It uses the same one as the compressor does. It's got multi-prongs on it. So anyway, that's what I plan on doing tonight. Uh, this engine is pretty cool. It is a one horsepower over va overhead valve four-stroke engine. So it's got its own oil. It's got uh, everything. You don't need to mix. I don't have to worry about mixing in oil. And it's a teeny tiny little motor. Um, one horsepower. But uh, it's a pretty cool deal. Here is the uh, information on it. And uh, I'm just going to have to pause it and give a read. But it's got a gearbox on it. It says 5 to 1 right there. Uh, displacement is 31 cc's. Uh, max output, 1 horsepower, 7,000 RPM. 4 stroke, overhead valve, horizontal shaft, air cooled. So it's a pretty cool little engine. Um, and Blaine did send me this. He had it for a very long time, and he told me he was going to send it to me. I never did take the offer, and eventually he uh, he moved, and he sent it to me anyway. One less item he had to bring with him. So he said, you blow it up, whatever. So it'll, it'll be a fun one to play with. But it's got this gearbox on it. It's got a, a, a clutch in here. And uh, then what I'm going to be doing is taking this Arduino. Uh, a guy by the name of Floaty Bodie. Alright, over at the forums, a long time ago when we were doing this stuff, offered a lot of programming help. Um, so he actually built the program. I never got back to doing this experiment, so I'm actually going to be using his program to adjust timing on this. I'm going to be using a coil on plug, uh, the same thing I showed you last time on the gen set, and uh, using an external circuit and a feedback circuit into the Arduino to actually adjust timing. If that works out, 
The Arduino is open source, the code's open source. The way I'm going to hook this up should be very, very simple. All you got to do is grab a coil on plug, build a little circuit, pop in your Arduino, and off you go. So if that works out well, it's going to be awesome. So i got to give a, a big thank you to Floaty Body. I never really gave him a big thank you. Thanks. I do appreciate it, and hopefully we will get to it finally. So i got a whole bunch of fittings here. Uh, I'm doing my live show at midnight and up to the morning hours, and nobody's ever opened that late. So I just went and bought everything I think I need. Uh, i got a few extra parts, but most of this I think I'm going to use. And I'm going to basically be recycling the exhaust gases into there. Um, this has this real stupid fitting on it, and this is actually brazing, not a, uh, so, uh, not a solder. Not like a solid solder, but actually a, like a copper brazing. You can see I tried to get this one off, and I couldn't. I actually got everything so hot it started burning stuff, but I couldn't get that to melt, because my little torch just wasn't hot enough. So this is just an update starting video on the one horsepower uh, manipulation that I'm going to be doing. And um, yeah, the idea here is something similar to the GEET and something similar to just something new. Um, 10 man power, for those of you who don't know, look up 10 man power on YouTube. I mentioned it enough, you all should know. Um, from IAE IAEC forums. And go check that out. And uh, he's done a really cool build where he's recirculated the gas uh, exhaust system into itself and really got some interesting results. So um, after just to experiment, learn, and, you know, thanks to Blaine, I can do that. And thanks to you guys for donations, all these parts that I have here in front of me, I was able to get. Um, these fittings are ridiculously expensive. But I had to do what I had to do. And uh, for this project, it's going to be a good one. Hopefully we will all learn together. And uh, that's it. So, Russ from rwgresearch.com. Like I said, I am doing live show right now in like eight, two minutes. I'm supposed to be live and I'm nowhere near ready to start. So they're all, oh, they're all yelling at me. Uh oh. Okay, I gotta go. Peace out. Thanks for your support, guys. Uh, go to the website, check it out, open-source-energy.org as well. That is where all the information is posted. The Arduino code is posted there. I'll link everything in the description. Peace out. See you. What's up everybody? I'm back. So I did my coils and I got some of this other stuff done. So I've got this mounted on a piece of wood and I've got some uh, fittings here. My hydrogen coming in for now. Um, this is the fan blower condenser unit and it is basically the exhaust side here and then here you can see the uh, exit of the engine directly into this thing and basically I just want to see if the thing runs um, I've got it hooked up to the hydrogen uh, I will need to actually put a uh, a valve on here or something really quickly but other than that we're gonna fire it up and see what happens well See what happens. All we can do is try. Not a clue. I'm sure it'll run. 